Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're well and staying safe. Today's video I'm going to share with you 15 different peaceful hobbies that you can do at home to take your mind off all the stress and anxiety that's been building up from everything that's happening around the world and I hope sharing these hobbies will make your days a little easier to get through. So yeah, with that being said, let's begin. So the first one is reading. I feel like reading is so therapeutic and reduces so much stress, trust me, especially during this time. It's just nice to get lost inside a book. And of course, if the weather is nice, uh, reading outside in nature, in the garden or on your balcony just makes it so much better. It just helps reduce your stress, whether it's fictional, non-fictional poetry. Uh, having a read for an hour or so just to put your feet up and get lost in the book is just nice and relaxing. So the next thing is doing puzzle games. I feel like puzzle games are so much fun and I just find them so therapeutic because once I start playing with puzzles, I just find them so addictive and it's just nice to get your mind to focus and it's so much fun. As you can see, this is one that I did earlier. Um, this one I did finish and I didn't want to break it apart so I did stick clear adhesive paper to it and now my cat Nila just enjoys um, sitting on it and sleeping on it. And, and I'm tempted to buy another Set of puzzles because I just find them so much fun and so therapeutic and here you can see uh, some snaps I took earlier whilst I was doing the puzzles um, these ones I uploaded on my Insta stories so if you're not following me already make sure you follow me on there it's just nice to do even with your family together um, get the whole group involved it's just nice uh, and so much fun Another peaceful hobby you could do is to do some creative artwork, painting or even creative writing. Um, I haven't done painting since I was 17 so I feel like this lockdown has given me the chance to reconnect with my painting skills and I feel like it's just something that I just really enjoy doing. It's just something I haven't done in ages and it's made me realise how much I enjoy doing painting. It's just such an enjoyable hobby which I find I just really love it. I just feel like I'm in my zone when I'm painting, just being creative, artistic. I just find it so enjoyable and really therapeutic. I know I'm saying therapeutic all the time, but I feel like all these things, most of these things are just so therapeutic and it's just something that is needed right now. Next thing you do is do some maybe reorganization or decluttering. Um, it may not be fun for some people, but I, I personally enjoy decluttering and reorganizing because I just love the feeling of clean, organized place. So I just, this is, I'm showing you right now everything that I've organized during this quarantine. I've organized my makeup uh, drawers, even my jewelry box. And I even made these tiny sections to section out the jewelry. And I just feel like doing these things just helps my clear my mind. When I know the place around me is clear and organized, then my mind is clear. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like I feel better when I know everything is organized and decluttered and so and so. Um, and also here's my closet, which I organized. This is like color coordinated and everything. I feel like it's just a nice way to kind of lift your mood. Another thing you could do is to do some home DIY or redesign, decorate um, some furnitures at home. This is a marble adhesive paper that I stuck on my drawers and um, this stool over here, I um, actually, my mum sewed this material on top of it. So I feel like doing some DIY to kind of redesign your room, your home, doing some spray paint DIY stuff. I, I just find it so much fun and just to kind of redecorate your home. This is um, something that my sister actually made, my older sister, she made years ago. It's like a cute, just fun art um, sort of thing um, that we stuck on the wall. So yeah, I feel like doing small changes to your home decor just helps uh, with lifting your mood and making the home feel more homely and cosy. Another peaceful hobby that I find enjoyable is scrapbooking, uh, making scrapbooks, so getting creative with sticking photos and just writing and doing cute cheesy stuff like this um, just for memories like a DIY photo album with all these cute memories. It's just so much fun, it's just a nice memory to look back at. Here is a um, scrapbook that me and my fiancé have uh, for each other that we make for each other and I just find it so much fun just getting creative. Um, and just looking back at these memories, I just love. So the next thing is cooking or baking. So I feel like with this uh, lockdown, uh, I've been seeing a lot of people's cooking and baking skills 
come to play, um, especially with um, all the cafes and restaurants being closed. Um, it's nice seeing everyone experiment with different types of food, uh, baking, and um, and yeah, just the whole process of cooking with your family. It's just nice because we're so used to eating out or ordering takeaway, uh, whereas now just cooking in the kitchen with the family is just something nice, uh, which we it's just makes us appreciate these moments more and and then afterwards obviously at the end of it you just get a nice reward uh, with tasting the lovely food that you make um, so yeah it's just something that I've been enjoying a lot lately and learning to cook and everything and then the next thing is journaling or bullet journaling so it's like um, planning and writing down goals for the year or just organizing your days like say fitness plans and you know writing down goals you have I feel like this is a great way um, to get you motivated like writing down lists to-do lists as well uh, to get things done um, I feel like writing things down on paper like a to-do list it just calms the mind down as well reduces your stress because instead of thinking of all the things that you have to do when you write it all down and have it all planned out um, that helps to calm your mind and reduce the stress so the next one is exercise, whether it's breathing exercise, stretching exercise, yoga or just fitness exercise. Anything to do with exercise helps not only the body but it helps the mind as well. I feel like uh, again you're doing something good to your body and it just puts you in a better mood and yeah that's me exercising, yeah struggling. Uh, the next one sounds a bit crazy but cloud watching trust me I feel like it's something I enjoy doing sometimes just going out just you know stepping out just enjoying watching the clouds is something I enjoy doing it's just so peaceful calming for the mind and yeah just kind of live in the moment and enjoy staring at the sky. The next one is textiles related DIY so doing some sewing or knitting or any of that getting crafty with um, clothes kind of transforming your old clothes into new clothes um, these are bits that I'm showing from my mum's sewing kit this is my mum's sewing machine I'm just pretending to sew but yeah things like this is just you know a nice way to get creative and stuff and the next one is I feel like sometimes applying makeup and getting creative with applying makeup in your face making yourself look you know glammed up and everything and experimenting makeup is just so therapeutic I just love um, sitting down and doing my makeup um, creating different looks is just something that uh, most a lot of us enjoy and I feel like that's something that we can do as well during this lockdown whilst we're inside. So the next one is playing games whether you're playing against uh, your family across the other end of the country or you're playing against the app on your phone uh, I feel like game is just a guess best way guess <laughs> best way to uh, kind of relieve stress and take your mind off any anxiety and everything and last but not least is either singing or playing music instrument I can't do either so I'm just pretending like I sing um, again that's a nice uh, therapeutic thing for most people just playing instrument just zoning out and everything so yeah that's the end of my video I hope this video helped don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.